here's the letter. Arizona's Secretary of State writing to the person who sent in that fake elector's document saying, number one, stop using the state seal. It's illegal. And number two, we're refer referring you to the attorney general's office for potential prosecution. The following day, on December 23rd, We've got the Secretary of State making that formal criminal referral to the AG's office, and it is a very straightforward thing. We received these documents from these Arizona residents purporting to be official state documents using the official state seal. These were not real official documents. Use of the state seal by anybody not authorized to use it is a crime in Arizona. Here's all the material. This is a crime. Please proceed, Mr. Attorney General. That formal criminal referral was made to the Arizona Attorney General's office December 23rd, 2020. So more than a year ago. Since then, nothing. So there's two questions here. Uh, one of them is about the federal cops on the beat here, right? Why did federal investigators at the National Archives only open an investigation into one of the two fake slates of electors they received from Arizona? Sure, that one came in first, but a few days later, when a second set of fake elector documents came in from Arizona and from a bunch of other states, why wasn't a federal investigation launched into those as well? Or was it? We are trying to find out. We will let you know as soon as we have figured it out. But also, in this situation in Arizona, I mean, again, they had two fake elector slates from two different sets of Republicans in Arizona, and this one with the state seal on it was kind of a special case. Kind of an open and shut case. Using the state seal on your forged document is its own crime. And here's the Secretary of State's office saying, hi, Attorney General, crime here, please prosecute. That was over a year ago, so far, nothing. What happened with this at the Attorney General's office in Arizona? Why did this dead end there? Well, let's turn to local journalists in Arizona to see what they think. Ah. Lori Roberts, writing this week for the Arizona Republic, quote, anyone waiting breathlessly for Attorney General Mark Burnovich to launch an investigation into the fake Trump electors who participated in a scheme to overturn Arizona's vote should wait no longer. Burnovich's latest fundraising plea makes it abundantly clear that he has no intention of actually doing his job. And then she shows this recent fundraising gambit from the Arizona Attorney General. Are you really going to ignore President Trump? We thought he could count on you, Burnovich says in this fundraiser, making the, re making the rounds to Republicans on Facebook. Quote, this is your last chance to help flip Arizona and take back the Senate. Don't miss your chance to be on Trump's team. Lori Roberts continues, quote, set aside for a second that this fundraising plea is a blatant misrepresentation of the truth. Trump hasn't endorsed Brnovich in Arizona. And in fact, Trump threw a fundraiser for one of Brnovich's opponents. Brnovich is in a crowded Republican race for this Senate seat, a race in which every candidate is competing to be anointed by Trump for the job. But Trump has not endorsed anyone in that Senate race. Brnovich should be investigating the phony Trump electors who in December 2020 signed a document avowing that they represented the true electoral votes from Arizona. They sent it by registered mail to the U.S. Senate and the National Archives. Fortunately, federal investigators are now looking into it. But shouldn't the state's prosecutor have at least a passing interest in such a blatant scheme carried out right under his nose? Roberts continues, quote, it seems painfully clear that you can't be both the attorney general of Arizona in charge of investigating all aspects of the 2020 election and a U.S. Senate candidate who is chasing Trump's endorsement. At least you shouldn't be. The conflict of interest is oh so clearly evident in Brnovich's latest fundraising plea. Brnovich's heart may lie with Trump, but his obligation remains to the people of Arizona. He should resign. That's from the Arizona Republic today. Calls for the Arizona Attorney General to resign if, among other things, he's not going to prosecute the state's fake electors. And I'm, I'm you know, not close enough to Arizona politics to know about the likelihood of any resignation here. I'm guessing that's not going to happen. But if you're wondering why there's a need for a federal investigation, if you're wondering why the U.S. Justice Department now says they are investigating, well, this kind of Michigas in the states might help explain why that's needed. I mean, in this case, no action for more than a year, even in the most clear-cut imaginable case where state law was definitely for sure, no doubt about it, broken. 